Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. May the good Lord bless you. I'm out here this afternoon just doing a little bit of scouting for some deer sign. I want to see uh, if I can find any rubs and or early scrapes because I know that some deer get in the mood a whole lot earlier. I had a pretty good sized eight pointer on my uh, game cam the other evening. So uh, I decided I'd get out here this evening since I got a little bit of time. It's really windy. I might uh, get a gray squirrel to come in to uh, focus on the uh, shotgun, maybe. But uh, let's look around and see what kind of deer sign we can find this afternoon. Cause I'm getting hungry. Right there's an old one you all, that's last year's. I can tell that because there's none of that bark laying on top of that leaves right there. But that's a cedar tree. And in my neck of the woods, these deer love to rub cedars. Let's check out some more sign. Yes, sir, right there's a fresh scrape. And it's big too, you guys. See where he's been rubbing his head on that broken off stop right there. So they're getting in the mood. There ain't no question about that. Let's go on up the ridge. All right, you all, you see that black spot right there? You see the deer tracks? That's fresh. There ain't no doubt about it. There's plenty of white-tailed deer in here. I'd like to see this big old boy right here, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a nice one. He's leaving a scrape here. This is about 50 yards from the other one. So he's laying around here somewhere so that he can check these scrapes. There's what you really like to see, you guys. Brand new. So there's two scrapes right behind me in that road back there. See that big old giant hickory there that the hurricane blew down to you all. I bet that hickory's a hundred years old or more. I've killed squirrels out of that hickory tree. One thing about it, when you've hunted it as many years as I've hunted you all, I can tell just by the the sign that I find that there are plenty of deer around here. The question is, will one of them become, you know, a uh, piece of buckskin and uh, uh, steak and gravy? That's the question. Can we make steak and gravy out of one of them? So we'll hang out here a little while. It's getting a little bit late in the evening. So let's see. The telltale sign. See that little twig gets broken over right there, you all? With that deer rubbing his head. You see you scrape right there. There's another one, you guys. 
See how he's rubbing that little old tree right there? Now, some people think that big bucks don't do this right here. But in fact, they do. A big buck with a great big set of horns on his head will rub that tree right there, just like he'll rub a bigger tree. There's one you guys check this out. Over here. <laughs> See the little trees been rubbing right down there. This old boy's in the mood, there ain't no question about it. You guys, I've seen enough right here to tell me that I can hunt this area right here and take a deer. Maybe. <laughs> I say that all the time. Sometimes you can hunt an area that you've seen plenty of sign in never see that deer in here. He might be totally nocturnal. We're going around here just about another quarter of a mile and then I'm gonna head back off the ridge. But this area right here is literally tore up with deer sign. So wherever them does are hanging out is where this big old boy right here is gonna be hanging out. Let me turn this around right here. Let me just show you this right here. You see that wet spot in that dry dirt right there, you guys? That's deer urine. He is definitely in the mood for love. There's a natural blind right behind me in this particular trail here, you guys. The wind just made it too. The hurricane, that's a big old sassafras laying down there. You can see it. All right, you all, I've seen enough and I've bugged you guys long enough. Hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your evening. May the good Lord bless you. Get out there and hunt you some deer, you all. Scout up a good place. Make sure you skin them things out. Take them hides home and tan them after you made your jerky out of your deer. Have yourself a wonderful day.